diving deeper into this cutscene content, you gotta see what's on your screen. Let me ask you a question. What would you do with this type of content? Would you watch it? Would you try to make use of it? Or would you just flat out ignore it? It's meaningless to you. Or is there something else you could do with this content? The cutscenes in NBA 2K inside of my career, whether they are skippable or unskippable, they kind of become annoying because you don't truly craft your own story. If you go on YouTube and look up people's my career videos, when they first get the game and they're playing through the actual my career and the actual cutscenes, every single person each year is going to have the same cutscenes, except for the fact they'll be wearing different clothes. So basically you're crafting the same storyline, no matter who's playing the game. And I've watched these my career videos over and over and over, probably hundreds, maybe even thousands of times. Sometimes it's just nice to craft your own story. So what I've been doing is creating an avenue for that. So as you can see here, this guy's he's like in the hallway. What I'm gonna do, I go into the menus and with the generic mod enabler, I'm able to swap out that tunnel hallway with different environments. So as you can see this time, I'm using, I'm using an animation cutscene type file, but in an environment that normally wouldn't be used. Now, everything you see on this video is me using these assets from 2k within nba 2k 23 now all of the assets you see here didn't originate from nba 2k 23 but they were in the nba 2k series at some point and i just kind of ported them over to nba 2k 23. now we know in the 2k community most people are trying to play park People want, people like the clothes, people like the street play, they like the loose fun gameplay. Uh, most people are gonna be playing park. You've got your people that play my team, which I don't think they could make use of this type of content, probably, probably not. They're not trying to craft stories. Um, but people, some people who play my career, sometimes they try to craft the stories or some people play online, the blacktop stuff. They try to craft stories around their characters. The only issue with the official my career is you can't truly craft your own story because everybody is just putting up the same cutscenes on YouTube. Now this, what I'm doing, I'm trying to give content creators who want to be original an avenue, an avenue to craft their own stories or get some B roll footage that they otherwise might not normally throw into park videos or something like that. Like you have to use your imagination. I've already put out the free assets, free version of this for cutscene modding. Uh, I've put that out. I'll probably have a link to it down in the description, but I spent time making this available for those who dare to think, okay, maybe I can do something with 2k or I would like to continue making video content with 2k. I just need a fresh take on things. Now there is a bit of a learning curve and this year I provided, I think six or seven, maybe even eight videos going over how to do things. I've made a, uh, a thread on NLSC where I'm actually typing out, you know, typing out stuff let you know all the characters you can replace. I've done so much research and tried to put out as much info as I can. And of course I could always put out more info, but at this point I've put out the free version of this cutscene mod and in the background, or well, not even in the background, but just throughout this video, you've seen what it's capable of doing. It's up to you to use your imagination to take it to a whole other 
character level. You see me swapping in and out characters, stuff like that. You see characters with clothes. Yeah, I had to spend time and effort figuring out how to do these things. But over the years, I've helped you guys try to figure out some of this stuff too. So on my Patreon, I'll go into more detail about how to do some of this stuff. But also here on YouTube, I'll continue to try to push where we can go with 2K videos.